Hi guys, my name is Shem. I'm usually on laserandstone.com. What I'm going to show today using the slurry stones and sharpen your stair laser. I have done exactly the same video a long time ago, but I had the issue with recording and it never did record my voice. Now, after a couple of years later, I do have some slurry stones exactly the same as what I had, but some of them has been changed. So a lot of stones are in here, I will show you this Nagura stones, Japanese stone. Actually if you can see this is Belgian cortico, this is Japanese stone. And the light green share, Japanese Azuku, and finally yellow green share. As you go from left to right, they go finer. I use only fine stone as a one of fine stone and I'm Using different style of stones, I will sharpen the lasers. I do have in here four already shaved red lasers, and this one is not shaved red laser. I'm going to experiment on this laser. I will hone up this laser and shake this. As you can see, I have almost one big hair grow on my face. Let's start it. The main idea of one stone horn is to help the people who cannot buy so many different stones. As you see in here I have almost eight stones and maybe more than eight and I hone using these stones I hone these four blades. What it does more stones give to you, you will not spend a lot of time on one stone. You spend less than one minute on 700 degrees and then this is Chazelle stones and then 1K and then Norton and then two corticals, Japanese stones and Isha and Brownish or you can call special stone. But the idea is that you just using the, this Japanese stone, this is five or oh, fine stone approximately 20K level. And I'm going to set the bevel first, make a slurry. This is a little curved stone, slurry stone. And I have to say, I have tried all of them. I know approximately each slurry stone has. I usually use my one hand and make the egg strokes. My strokes may be a little faster, but I'm doing this because of the video to get the job done as fast as I can. Real bad if you do have some small microscope that you can check the edge after 1K level. But you know you set the bevel and there is no chips. Remember, in this case, every time when you're done with what stone, because of the grid contamination, you don't want to have it, you have to clean up the stone. Feel better if you can wash it, the stone, and get the early grid off, and then use the next slurry stone. What you can do, you can put on a light and check the level too. Sometimes it's said the bevel will take the most time of the sharpening because that's the most important step, first step, but you do it, then you gotta move on.
always check the when you check the sharpness of the edge on heel side and tip of the blade. Usually if you get the heel side and tip of the blade, if your blade doesn't have the throne, sharpness should be the same. What I find out is the tip of the blade is not as sharp as the heel side. I'm gonna stay in here a little bit longer. Put a little bit more pressure on the tip side, a little bit, not so much. Make a couple strokes. It's fine. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean up again and use the Japanese slurry stone. The best will be if you wash, if you wash the stone and use the next slurry stone. This is Japanese slurry stone. It's approximately will be 10k level. This is light greenish slurry stone. I'm 
Now as finer you go, you have to slow down and try to not make any mistakes. What happens in this stage, if you make mistake, you have to go again to 1K level and then come back. That's why your stroke has to slow down and be patient. And do not use the pressure. To, the, to this level, that is a lot stronger that I put the, the thin light Grenisha. It's a older cursor than my original stone. But now my two less slurry stones are different. They are finer than my original stone. That's why I'm going to make slurry from the original stone and horn razor. Then I will move these two fine stones. What it does, slurry will help the edge get more finer. Okay. And for it I'm going to use DMT clay to get the original slurry from the stone. Alright guys, now I'm going to use my fine Japanese stone and make slurry. And as fine as you go, you will make less strokes on your fine stones. Basically, what these two slurry stones does, they just they finish the, the final edge. This should be good enough. Okay, now this stone slurry and last one is yellow greenish stone. And there is a lot questions about how much slurry you need to have on the stone and what thickness. This should be good enough. I, I wish you can see it clear. Okay. And you don't have to make a lot of strokes on each other. Usually I don't do never ever more than 30 strokes. It's very rare. On this stage of honing you have to be very very careful because your edge is already very fine. Small mistakes will cost you a lot to go back again and start all over. I think this blade should be shaved right now. What I'm going to do after finish up with this razor, I will go 
shave this with all these five razors. What I have done, I have honed all these four razors with these stones but finish it different stones. I use a different finishing stones, let's say one of them I use the real logging shirt, next one I use the Japanese stone, third one I use the salmon particle, next one I use my as I call special stone or brownie shirt, how you accept it doesn't matter. Okay, if you have any question about this video please guys visit to razorandstone.com and ask I will be gladly answer all your questions. Now I will go shave this. I hope this video will help somebody.